Hey guys, so welcome. Oh gosh, we aren't even like situated good. Welcome to a new mukbang. Okay, so this little fella fell. This is what we have today. Okay, first of all, before I even start eating, I want to say that this dress I bought. It was in 2018 and I was going to wear it for Thanksgiving in 2018 and it didn't fit and now it does. So that's, it surprised me. Definitely. I don't think I like it as much as I thought I was going to, but Eric said he liked it. Who knows? So we have a carrot. Water. So, if you guys are new to my channel, during my mukbangs, I have a ton of topics in this notebook to talk about. It's things that you guys have recommended or have asked me or just like hot topics in general, whether it be about me, the world, whatever it is. I have been getting a lot of people talking about my portion sizes and how I eat snacks, which would be like this, with my meals. So I don't snack. Um, if I do, it's one snack at night. Snacking throughout the day triggers me and I don't really know why, but I prefer to have voluminous if that's the right word, like large quantities of food that are healthy and low calorie. That's just what I prefer to keep me full because you guys, I'm a big girl. So it's like, I try to have my sides be low calorie and healthy, like apples and carrots, as you guys have seen. I'm gonna try to like mix it up a little bit though so you guys don't get bored. I was gonna try a kiwi for the first time in this video, but, I couldn't figure out how to cut the kiwi. I've never had a kiwi. I've never cut a kiwi. So I was trying and then I mushed it and it just didn't turn out right. So here we have, these are nut thins, like almond nut thins, which I love. They're very light, thin, very low calorie. And they're delicious. This is the sea salt kind where it's just lightly sea salted. Mm. Honestly, so good. We have some, just some jalapenos for a little spice moment. I love, I love hot things. But it'd be different if my portions were like three of these. These are, okay, let me explain what this is first. This is one bagel that is open faced. And then I put two of the Laughing Cow cheeses underneath. And these are just garden veggie burgers with some baby arugula. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. So I prefer the bottom piece of a bagel. So I'm gonna start with the top piece first. I feel like this is gonna be messy, but who knows? Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's good. Mm -hmm. Very dry, which is what I like. You guys know. Ooh. But it'd be very different if my portions were like tons of like unhealthy and like food that's not gonna last long when it comes to like filling me up. And a few people have said, you need to watch your portion sizes. 
I take the time to weigh my carrots and usually with these I just count them and I take the time to do that so I can accurately figure out the calories. So it's not like I'm just throwing stuff on my plate and calling it a day. Um, before I eat anything on camera, I make sure it's within my calories for that meal. A meal, <laughs> meal, I love that for me. Um, and it's like, I honestly recommend that to anyone. Um, try to eat voluminous food. Like losing weight doesn't have to be about tiny small portions. If you can fill up on healthy things, then do it, honestly. Um, like, this meal I would have by myself. I explained yesterday I eat all my meals by myself. Um... There's nothing different that I did in this situation that I would have done off a of camera. So eating on camera not only makes me eat a lot slower and I'm more mindful of my food and I appreciate it more instead of just devouring it. And you guys also give me someone to talk to while I eat. And if my eating upsets you, offends you, triggers you, I ask politely to maybe not watch, like wait for me to upload a vlog or another video that entices you because like I don't want to offend anyone that's not my intention ever I've been obsessed with carrots. They add like a crunch that I need. Plus I just love how they taste. So I'm gonna be honest, like I love watching move bombs, love. And some trigger me. And it sucks because a lot of the time I watch mukbangs because of people's personalities. I like to get meal ideas. Y'all, it's fun to watch someone eat. It's good, you know, background noise.
but there comes a time where certain videos by mukbangers that I adore, I can't watch. So good. <laughs> I love the crunch and the flavor with this. It reminds me of like when I used to make sandwiches and like I had to put chips in the middle of the sandwich for like a crunch. <laughs> Does anyone else do that? I feel like they do. Um, so, when a mukbanger that I love uploads, I feel like I say mukbang wrong, but it's like such a habit because I've been saying that from like the jump. I'm pretty sure it's mukbang. <laughs> but when I watch mukbangers, um, or when they upload like people that I love, depending on the title and what they're eating, I... I can't always watch it. Um, it sucks. Like the biggest one for me, which makes me really sad, is if it's Chinese food. <laughs> I can't watch Chinese food mukbangs. Mukbang, mukbang. I don't even know what it is anymore. And it just, that's just how it is, unfortunately. There's some other types too that are hard to watch for me, so I just don't. Or I just try to like skim it. Um, hmm. Oh no. Anything to do with like ramen noodle, like the spicy ramen, or I can't watch those either because they trigger me. They make me want to like go to the store and buy them, you know? This meal is dry. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say right here, right now. As an outside perspective, I understand your guys' frustration because to you, you're seeing you know, a morbidly obese girl with like a food addiction, eating on camera, like forcing herself to eat or like, a lot of people say I'm myself on camera, but it's like, I'm not. I'm eating so much healthier. I am enjoying my food and making it last. And like I said, this is what I would eat regardless if I was filming or not. I would love a weight loss channel to do mukbangs because 
I mean, everyone's different, but if you're eating healthy, you're eating within your calories, you're eating what you would eat, something about it is really satisfying because you get to enjoy your food for longer. Um, I just eat really fast in general. So this meal could be gone in like five minutes flat, especially because I am eating by myself. I feel like I'm going in circles. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I just, like, I don't want to upset people, but I also want to be able to film what I want to film and not worry so much about what other people think. And I do want to spend a video talking about like you know weight loss with mood bongs and stuff like that like I've done it before um I think it was during my shrimp mood bong but I was very I don't know something about that video like rubs me wrong it was not good the things I said in it like and the way that I thought then is very different than like how I feel and think now. I so I feel weird if I like <laughs> stared at you guys while I was eating and I was just like <laughs> weird. Um but yeah, I want to dive more into like how I feel now with losing weight, mukbangs. I just have a few thoughts about it. Uh had to restart my phone over because I'm using my phone because my alarm went off to take my medicine so when I went to turn my alarm off I dropped my water I wish I would have filmed it and I spilled a pretty good amount and I was like oh no and I look down and it's upright like this and there was no lid on it. I was like, what even happened? But, um, I got my new slipper wet. Y'all, I have the cutest new slippers. I'm actually living for them. I need to show you guys one of these days coming up. But I don't even remember what I was talking about. <laughs> that was funny. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> oh, someone asked me, why does she have to eat everything on her plate? Well, that's easy. That's an easy question. I'm hungry. <laughs> I want to finish my food. And, you know, I calculated all my calories on it, so...
if I was like genuinely full, obviously I wouldn't eat it. Last bite, big bite. Y'all, I am so sad about my slipper. <sighs> I know it can dry, but. I actually got it at Kroger. Um, love that for me. Who would have thunk it that I would go to Kroger and find like the cutest slipper in the world? House shoe. Well, I guess you can call it a house shoe. Um, I even wore it to the store once. <gasps> They're a lot more comfortable than my flats, I can tell you that much. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I was gonna talk about a few more topics, but we will leave that for another video. I kind of just kind of went on about the same thing in this one. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.